hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide you how you can install the kali linux on the apple silicon chips so first of all we need to open the browser and basically we are using the utm that is similar to the virtual box in the windows you just need to go to here and type utm download and you just need to click on this download button so once you click on this download button the exe will be downloaded here in the finder here you just need to double click on utm like this and you need to drag it into application put your username and password and it will be installed so i have already installed the utm the next software you need is the kali linux iso file tap kali Linux ISO go to first official link of their website and in here we need to go to this option installer images click on this option and choose the apple silicon here from here you need to click on download so choose the location just click on save and it will be downloaded here it is almost around 3.5 gb you need to wait here for some time guys until it's gets completed so you need to have at least 30 gb of free space inside your ssd and at least 4 gb of ram it is needed for kali linux you can give it 2 gb at least but 4 gb is recommended in order to run it smoother now the iso file is also done so let me close this now and you need to launch the utm here so this is a utm app you need to click on that and from the first you just need to click on create new machine okay select your virtualized select your linux and from here we need to click on boot iso image click on browse go to the downloaded folder here is select the iso click on open once you open click on continue give 4 gb at least and give the four cores to it you need to tick this option also enable hardware okay click on next and give at least 30 gb this is the minimum you need to give and this is the shared directory between your pc and this virtual machine let me give it to the desktop click on open click on continue and you can name it kali linux open the vm setting also click this option and click on save so once you open it you need to go to here click on display and from here emulator display card leave everything as default but if this not work you can choose it later on this one virtio ramp fv and click on save so i am leaving everything default go to network if network also not work for you you can need to choose this bridge option okay so we will try that out after installing the vm let's me click on okay now let me play it it has come up with the install you just need to click on enter so if the vm is stuck like this you need to close this out click on okay go to utm again click on control and edit it go to new select a serial and select save and then relaunch it press return key now you will see the options it is installing now select her english this is a location so i am selecting her india 
select next keyboard layout let it same if after applying these methods guys you still you are getting any kind of issues restart your mac once and then try so host name i'm tapping here out of stack click next domain name is not needed this is the full new username so i'm tapping here kali select next the username of your account let it as kali this is the password so whatever password you prefer you can type then click on return reconfirm it hit next now select here the first option guided use entire disk hit return key virtual disk all files in the partition recommended for new new users and finishing partitioning and write the changes to disk yes and select here y now it will take some time you need to wait here now you can press return here Now installation is finished. You need to click on enter to reboot your VM. Now let me cross this out now. And we need to So let me start the virtual machine guys. If you see this blank screen, you need to close this one. and you need to switch over to this and this is a normal machine we need to type our kali the username and the password you have set up during the set installation now you can see we have successfully installed the kali linux so once the installation is done open the terminal here type as sudo and we need to type our sudo space apt hyphen get space update enter the password of your admin account and we have successfully installed the update now it's time to upgrade the latest version so we need to press up arrow key here and instead of update you need to type a upgrade press enter key and press here y and this is also going to take some time guys and you can see internet is also working fine so we don't need to do anything now right now since everything is working fine here so we can say we have successfully installed the kali linux on the apple silicon chips also you can clear the here the iso file if anything is here you need to clear it out So hope this video helps you guys. Yes, then hit like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching.